hello beautiful people you are welcome back to my channel in this video you are going to learn how to cut and sew this beautiful taco dress as you can see it has a side pocket a bit of gathers at the down part it can be worn with or without belts such a beautiful dress I really love the feel in this dress so cute I love the neckline can be it can be worn to any occasion of your choice such a beautiful dress you need about 3.5 years of Ankara the length I'm using is 40 I will use 33 for this upper part then I will use 7 for the lower part which is gathered As you can see, I extended the, my pattern, my basic pattern. I extended, I extended this to some inches. I extended this one to some inches to give me that the 33 inches that I need for the upper part. What I'm going to do next is to cut slashes through. I'll cut it and remove the darts. These darts, I'll cut this through and remove the darts. This is front. This is our front pattern. This is back. Once I slash it through, I'll close this dart. Let me do that and show you now. As you can see, I've cut through, I've removed all the darts and spread this. This is the front and this is the back. In order for you to be able to spread this very well, this is it. Now I'll go ahead and add my sewing allowance. At the armhole, I'll add half inch, one inch for the side, half inch at the down parts. Then I'll cut through this place. I will extend my neckline. When I want to do that, I will show you. I'll spread it. The same thing I will do for the back. I will add half inch for the shoulder at the at the side at the back at the center back I will add half inch then I will spread it half inch here half inch then half inch at the back this is the front I've cut out the front I've added the needed allowance to the hand mold to the side and the down parts. I'll, this is the front. You spread this. This is the back, rather, sorry. You spread the back. This one you cut here is to give it enough room to spread. Now you add your you add the allowance. One inch here, half inch here, half inch here. Then you cut through the neck. You can make the choice of the neck you want to reduce. I'll go ahead and cut this. Now I've cut the front and the back. This is the front. This is the back. The next thing I will do. The next thing I did, I I extended the neckline by 1.5 from the basic neckline. I said I removed 1.5 round and the back as well 1.5 in order to make this a bit wider then i'll go ahead and join the shoulder shoulder to shoulder for the front and the back then i'll use bias to tape the neckline i made this 12 by 8 the pocket opening is going to be seven i will sew half here and i will sew half here your pocket opening shouldn't be more than seven. Seven is okay for an adult. So this is 12 by eight. I'll go ahead and shape it. Thank you. 
ไปพุชมาหายสักไม้หายสักเดินเย่ I measure from my handbook for boots front and back I measure from the handbook 9.5 9.5 That's where my pocket will start from. I will notch it. I will notch it on both sides. I will shoot it with the pocket's mouth, the pocket's opening from here down to 7 inches. Go and show it. Um, show it. This is my pocket soup here, which is seven. I will place this right side to right side. Right side will face the face the face each other like this. This one, the pocket is the pocket itself is eight. I will leave half inch up like this, half inch. So what I will have that I'm going to sew is going to be seven. Half inch, like this, half inch. So, and I'll sew half inch here. Yeah. Then you go ahead and repeat the same process for the rest. Now I'll try the shoulder, both, both front and back. Then I made an opening at the back for easy wear. I made the opening of five. I made the opening of five inches. Five inches. Then when I sew is finished, it's remain 4.5. I sew half point half inch in. I don't want to push button, so I push rope. I finish up the neckline with bias. Then I iron it. Then I went ahead and attached the pockets to the sides, both front and back. When I attach it, I top stitch it to give it a stable look. So I went ahead and cut a long strip of 65 inches. I don't want the gather to be too much. I don't want it to be too bulky. So I want it, I want a moderate one. So I cut 65 by length, then 8.5. I, uh, I folded one inch here, then I will sew at the hem, I folded one inch at the hem, then I will sew half inch here. So I will sew half inch to join with the upper part. I've done that for the back. Because I'll gather it, then attach it to the front down part. Let me do that and show you. So I've joined the gather with the upper parts, both front and back. Now to the sleeve. I cut the I cut a basic sleeve. The length is 13. I'll fold one and a half here at the hem. Then I will sew up I will sew half inch to the hem of the bodies. So the next thing I will do, I will join the side, the side of the clothes. I will join them together. I will join it with one inch. The one inch allowance I had earlier while cutting. I will join it with one inch, half inch on the pocket, like this. Then come one inch. 
on both sides, then I will attach the sleeve. Now I have attached the sleeves. All that is left is to give it a good press. Our gown is ready. Please subscribe to this channel. Like and share the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.